Hey guys, um, just about to uh, hit the uh, hit the sack for the night, but uh, thought I'd show you where I was at with this one. I'm pretty happy with the detailing job. I don't think I'm really going to do too much more. Uh, I will tell you I'm going to move on to the next building, and then if I see I need something, I'm going to come back. But uh, I'm just going to zoom in on the features, then I'll throw the buildings in. It's just easier to see them without the, uh, the building. So, what do we got for features? We have the... Um, flocked and sprouted uh, crop rows with a small pathway here. We have the picket, two sections of picket. Uh, we have some shrubs just a lot. Sorry, the details a little bit blurry. Um, shrubs there. What I did is I actually threw in some tufts of grass. I mean, these are small, very small tufts. Like that's my finger and. There's the top stuff. So they're kind of cool. Uh, I like them. They're hard to see, but uh, what else do we have? We have the pathway going in. What I did is I did tufts down the center as well, just to. Um, let's see if I can get that. Just one second. And there you go. You can kind of see them. So it's raised up just a little bit, just to give that whole um, sort of worn look. So as if it's wearing down and the grass is very high in the center. Um, then some shrubs down through here, so that's cool. Uh, here's the above shot of that area. That's what I was kind of talking about messing it up. Um, so I just sort of... I got I got lots of dirt over it. The dirt's not just in these rows, but um, there is a definitely a distinct pathway there. There's also a pathway coming over here. And what that one's doing is actually tying in to the... You can see second section picket, which sort of runs there, and then there's a gate. I like to do the gate open just because it makes it a little more dynamic. It makes it give the indication that there's there's motion. So that pathway right there runs right out the gate. Uh, what I did here is I have some uh, more shrubs sort of bordering, and then what I did is I took some fine leaf foliage and sort of sprouted it right there, and you'll see why it's kind of standing alone now, but then over here I just took some foliage and uh, just extended it out. I did do uh, a few trees. Uh, I didn't magnetize them, just simply left them as plugs. Just sort of did some shading on the, uh, sorry, uh, shading on the tree bark. I did some uh, dark, this is conifer. And then what I did is I took some, because I don't like the conifer, I think it's a little dark as is, so I took some of this stuff and uh, just lightly dusted it onto the conifer, just to sort of, you can sort of see it in there, just to sort of lighten it up a little bit. Um, there is four trees there in total. It gives a real shaded area there, just something I'm kind of going for. Um, well you can kind of see when you get down in, maybe you can, maybe you can't, but I have some tufts down in, I, I can see them right there, right here, and so, that's what it looks like, and there's the flowers again, so let's have a look and see, use your imagination for colors so you can see that sort of slides right in, and doesn't move, see that's the beauty, with all the features around it, your houses are not going to slide around, and then we'll throw the shed, in, slide it back, good to go. Now you can really start seeing what's going on with the finely foliage climbing up the side. Here, shrubs, gives it a real nice border. Again, here you got your fence, and then your trees are kind of cool, they're kind of growing up over the, over the uh, roof area. Get down in there, you can really see the pathways. Bring it down here, just different angles, changing all the time. And once these buildings are painted, it's going to look fabulous. And here, you just got to make sure you push your building right down into the ground. You will have a slight ridge, but that's almost unavoidable. You can't border the building entirely all the way around because what happens is it starts to look artificial again. Um, here are sort of the shadows, just a little. A uh, piece of clump foliage to tie that in, and then there you go. Now you can really see how that ties into the tractor door. 
and the uh, the uh, pathway running in. So um, hopefully you guys are happy with uh, how that looks. And uh, basically I'm going to use a lot of the same techniques, uh, and I'm going to use them on the other buildings. But uh, that's what it looks like. Significant difference. I mean, we started with an area like that. Then we threw a building down, and then we ended up with something that now looks like this. It's a little bit busy, but that's what you want. That's it. Uh, you want it to be. Um, you want it to look realistic, and uh, usually the houses have a lot of stuff going on around them, and so that's what I was going for. So. Um, you may or may not like so many trees around the buildings. I think in this case it looks kind of neat, uh, especially when you get the aerial uh, view going. You uh, definitely can see pathways, and that's something that's... I mean, they're accessing this shed for whatever reason uh, a lot, so, I mean, they're going to wear down the path, and, and maybe they don't have as much dirt, or maybe what they actually do is have a dirt path there, and it's starting to overgrow with some grass because they're not using it as much. So, like I said, make up the story for... Uh, how you want it to, uh, or your justifications for doing things, and then uh, and go from there. So uh, just quickly, uh, one more quick span, and I think I'm going to call it a night. So I will uh, chat to everyone tomorrow. Cheers.